Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I have a pretty balanced rack. I have uh, no doubt a few bingos. I have forties on my rack. Um, as the blank being a T. Uh, what else do I have? Okay. Print. Okay, so the R would give me a four timer. Four. Four rise. No. Um. What about Forkiest? Yeah, that seems okay. I draw a fairly balanced rack and looking at this O and the eye nephroid that's quite nice uh, conflates through an O and a T that's no good And calf, I don't believe is good. And calf snuff. The R looks quite useful. Okay, not seeing <sighs> not seeing a, a bingo there, so what about this four timer? Scaleni plus um, Fennec Faciles. No, it doesn't take an S. What about a CA play? Um, uh, no. Cancel, no. Okay, not seeing anything there. I feel like I'm missing a bingo here, but... Just not seeing it. <clears throat> Ca 
F for 23 feels weak. I'm sure I missed something better there, but anyway. Um, is there something here? Alumines, no. I have the unprefix, unlimes, but not unleams. Um, I have the men component of a word. Lumines for a four-timer. I'm not seeing anything better. 36. Draw the Q. I have POI. Just pi there with a shocking rack leave. Uh, the QU option looks all right. Opaque. Oh. For twenty five, sorts the rack out. Nothing for going in front of I.O. So, utilizing this hotspot would have to expose the trip lane if I'm to come down. Opponent taking some time with this move. Opponent's played via, so I will go with opaque. Um, quite a few E's to work through here. Nothing for going after I.O. to the right, but I do now have the B. And unfortunately, nothing to go in front of do. do. So, that's a shame. Um, anything ending in O? Been to, I would need an N. Board tightening up a bit now. Ganja. Okay. Nothing for going above the G. No great plays through the end. <sighs> Can't play from the H to good effect. Go 
could play Bene to sort out the E's for 18. And keeps the board tight. Might give something back to opponent there. But not anything to worry too much about. I do now have an A for going in front of do, so a play of um, <coughs> I have bay, okay, opponent bingos, BT. Looks fine. For 38. I draw the H for score. Opponent still has a small lead there. Uh, Garb doesn't score much, but Twenty one Nephroid probably does take an S. Um, I do have the H, so an AH maybe Ra there. For thirty two, not sure if you can spell doll that thirty nine. Da. For thirty five, looks all right. Not a good pickup. I'm uh, consonant heavy now. The bag's still pretty balanced as far as consonants and vowels go. Grab looks a little bit, oh, I was going to say it looks a bit better now, but opponent gets in there first. Only the one vowel makes it a bit tricky. And not many to play through on the board. A. A. R. E. Seventeen. Terrible leave. Wow, okay. Don't have a GRA play. Um, what else have I got to put? Erg, but that hardly s scores anything. Eight. Gee, this is hard. But there will be a best play, I guess. Everything I do just gives back easy scoring spots to opponent. Guard. 
Guard isn't good. Guard. I don't think guard. Yeah, guard's fine. I draw two U's, so not looking good. So, where do my use play to good effect? Metic, can that be extended? Metic meticulous, not going to fit. Um, dado is good and due. That's half decent for 18. Yeah, I think I'll go with this. There's unlikely to be a whole lot better on offer. Retinula onto an A. That's not going to happen on this board unless opponent plays across from the D, leaving an A. There's only one to come. Um, What else would give me an 8? Nothing. Okay, opponent scores well with the Z, so... Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. The Y definitely not helpful for this rack. Just looking at this metic word. No, not seeing anything. Opponent's bound to have an S. Looking at this D, is there definitely no 7 here? What about just a U? That's a nice leave. Neutral. That actually does play. Opponent bound to block it. Ah, oh, he didn't. Neutral for 69. I draw the X and I don't know if there's a hot spot for it. It's a very tight board. Axis, Bodes and Salix. That's quite nice for 38. I wonder if opponent will spot that and block it. What about 
component will look to go out in two. Um, looking at the Y. O's and sacks, but that gives back... Well, if he plays his I, then I can play sacks. But what about... As, as, axis. Where does axis play? Wow, it's not a great board for the X, to be honest. X, I here. But if opponent goes out in two, he more than likely wins. Ah, oh, he hasn't taken Salix. Salix for 38. And that should be enough. Let's see what he's got with ITY. G plays next to the A N there. And Gash as well. So I've definitely got two outs at least. Both eight points they score. But can a pun go out in one? My int, I don't think is good. Maint is M E I N T, but not M Y I N T, I don't think. Wow, what a close finish! I don't think opponent could really block that spot unless he played no if he plays from the L across he's giving me easy spots to score actually he had a ashy he could have played his Y and maybe maybe Yao Y O W because I didn't have an E for extent, but I had the S, Yows and Sacks. So, yeah, I think even maybe Yo, just Y O, but then he doesn't go out in two. Yeah, it was tricky, I think, at the end there. And I did have a flexible rack. So, opponent down to his last half a minute or so. Uh, just looking if he can clench this one with an amazing outplay. I'm not seeing it, but... Just eight seconds to go now. And 
he's gone over time. So down to his last minute. And then he forfeits on time. So my two out spots again. And Gash. Um, I suppose I have Gee there. For six. And opponent down to his last 20 seconds. Nephroid was nice. I like that. I wonder if it makes any other words. It's a nice set of tiles. Okay, opponent plays my. And then I'll just go with Gan. So that was the end of the game. Uh, 415 to 389. Thank my opponent for the game. And let's see what we missed. Close one. Okay, Prent was best for opponent. And then Rufius. Oh, oh, of course, the F. I just went for the one that I saw first. But definitely Rufius first. Oh, Hordean he has. But it didn't play anywhere. So he went with Nephroid. That was the only bingo. So nice spotting. Uh, Fessiles for 48. That was the four time I was looking for. And didn't spot it, unfortunately. Fessiles. Fetiles is also good with a T. Priests of ancient Rome. Fetiles with a T. Um, I went with Calf and Goji uh, for 33 was best here for opponent, making C12. Oh, down here, Goji, but giving back easy score. Uh, opponent went with Wu, that looks acceptable. Semi Loon, wow, a little bit tricky to spot, is a word I've seen before. But look at this other one. Mensa full. Wow. Mensa means people in Afrikaans. But not to say that that's the derivation of the word. But that's how I'm going to remember it. Full of people. Mensa full. <laughs> anyway, that's just a side note for myself. Um, Lumines unlimes. Those were the four timers, but semi loon uh, is the one I should have spotted because it's within range of what I've studied. Um, Jive and Juvi, those both look okay. Opponent went with Via. Now, Opaque was best for 25. Ganja for 26, which means marijuana, I think. In, it's like a colloquialism. Ganja. Um, might have another meaning as well, but in South Africa they refer to marijuana as ganja. Um, now, that was best. And then buy for 22, bene for 18. Now, F13... No, I don't like that. Leaving an E right there for heavy scoring spots. Just 22. I know it did sort the rack out nicely, but I don't know. I think I come off second best out of that exchange 80% of the time. Bene for 18 kept it a little bit tighter. Now, great rack for opponent. A whole host of bingos. Sandlots comes down. 
Batel, look at that, very nice, for 39 at J10, which is where I played BT, one fewer point, so still happy with my play. Gaby still also good, which was C12 down here, but easy scoring spots, so still happy with BT. Exchange for opponent, a whole rack full of eyes. Da for 35, Dahl for 37, so yeah, you can't spell Dahl the other way. Um, happy with that play, I think. Because L10, actually Dahl's quite nice, D-A-H-L, that was better, D-A-H-L, yeah, why didn't I get rid of the extra consonant, not a huge miss though, but a miss nonetheless, look at the equity, a full five point difference, uh, Enoki, um, opponent for 32 at F11. Enoki, yeah, it's easy scoring spot created. So opponent kept it tight and also scored well, 30 points. Now Val Dry here, got for 22 was best. And then Deuce for 27, but Metic for 30. Good Good score by opponent now. Very close. He's got a little cushion and I'm faced with this rack and I'm thinking, oh, the tide's turning. But Dew seems half decent for 18. But Druid, 24, 8K. I did look at plays across, but I thought leaving these floaters with all these lovely bingo -y tiles. If you take the Z, Y, and X out of the equation, there's a quite a few nice tiles left behind. So I just didn't want to unnecessarily open the board. So you kept it tight and still got 18 points out of it. Yats for 42. Wow, opponent had a big score there. M12. Ah, oh, the Z in the trip lane. I can see why he wouldn't be a fan of that one. Um, ZE for 37 was a lot safer. And then Lun for 19. No bingo here. What did I do? I opened a lane. And what was I hoping to achieve with that? Well, I thought the rack leave was fantastic. T-R-I-N-E-L. And I thought opponent might try close it down. What did he have? He had U for 27 which is quite a nice play. That would have given him a 60-point lead, roughly. What did he land up going with? Ayur. Let's have a look at the bag. So there's, there's more consonants than vowels, almost double. So I think he should have hung on to maybe an extra vowel just as insurance. Or what about yurt? Could have played yurt there. I just wonder where does yurt there? Yurt for 21. I mean, there's still bingos beginning with an S, but it's, it limits what I can do. So strategically, I think Yurt would have been the, the play there. Because he must have inferred that I had a pretty strong leave by just playing off the U. Anyway, he went for score. 
25 and then the trial came down for 69 Lintia also good and uh, then opponents got white for 32 at L1 nice he goes with wove in the same spot He's looking at these tiles and he's thinking, oh, I can't block Salix unless he really wants to go out in, in two here to have the advantage of the countback score. What about Yaoi? I.E. And then I've got sacks underneath, and I go out. But he goes out first, does he? Yeah, uh, TVY. Can he go out with TVY? Probably not on this board. Yeah, I'm just looking for two, a combination outplay for him, which blocks Salix. Very tricky. Anyway, I wonder. He goes with Wove, Salix for 38, and then I for 13 was best. Um, and uh, I went out with Gan. And that was the end of the game. So, a pretty good game. I thought towards the end there that I was losing... Um, momentum a bit um, and then I picked up the X right at the end and going out first uh, was was crucial there whoever I felt went out first was going to win and opponent had W V Y he had a few vowels but on a very tight board it was tricky to go out in into uh, with with that rack. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.